When producing prototypes or short runs, it is often uneconomical to have a steel stencil made, so I thought I would try and 3D print a stencil on my Prusa i3 clone with a 0.4mm tip. From KiCad, I plot a SVG of the solder based stencil and import it into FreeCAD. In FreeCAD, I model a 0603 part with two of the smallest holes I can print, which is 1mm. I clone the 0603 parts and manually align them with the SVG outline. I then cut the shapes from a cube and print just the first two layers. As compared with a proper laser stencil, it is clear the quality is very poor, with the printed aperture just being one big blob over the part, but let's see how it goes. I solder paste the board and immediately you can see compared to a proper board it does not look good, but let's persevere. Placing the parts goes quick enough, although with the amount of solder paste there is, it makes it difficult to sometimes determine where the pads are. Now I proceed to reflow the board with my Mini Maker reflower. It takes a while to heat up. So we'll skip over that. So as the reflow starts reaching temperature, as the solder starts to reflow, we can see the bigger parts are aligning quite nicely. But many or most of the 0603s have pulled in the wrong direction due to too much solder paste. After reflowing is complete, I can keep the reflower at the rework temperature while I prod and move the parts until they align a bit better. Excess solder I will remove later with a solder wick once the board has cooled. As can be seen, for working with 0603 parts, a 3D printed stencil on an FDM printer is just not good enough. Even though the Mini Maker reflower keeps the temperature well controlled, giving you time to prod and move the parts around. So you can probably reflow a few prototypes like that, but definitely not a production batch. So for anything other than prototypes, I will revert back to laser cut stencils. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my Mini Maker channel for more Maker posts, or visit reflower.com for a preview of my reflower campaign and you see how you can get your own reflower.